it's quite easy to make friends here. I think in any um, in any environment where um, where expats or you know people from the kind of kind of the same environment or the same external environment comes together, they all feel. Um, they all feel kind of secluded and they all want to, you know, gang up and, so that they can feel comfortable and secure again. You find that once you've made friends with a few expats, there's word of mouth and you get around um, and you eventually join in and get to know others. It's very much a, net a case of networking. I went to my neighbors' houses and I gave them food, sweets, and I tried to talk to them. In the beginning it was difficult because I had like zero Kurdish. I had uh, learned that there are a few places where expats go to hang out and have drinks and have uh, dinner and so on. Not many but they're out there and uh, that's where I made uh, my first acquaintances. When I first came here there was a place called the American Compound at, at uh, the edge. And so it's a big, it's a small community where everybody knows everyone. So I first attended this event that they had usually every weekend, a barbecue or a party or a pool party, whatever occasion it be. And you start to make friends and you see the same people in that compound. I host a group on Facebook uh, very similar to uh, like Erbil Lifestyles called Epic. Um, Erbil Party International Circuit and we just uh, we post what's going on for the week you know and everybody kind of follows and and you know meet new people meet new friends and uh, usually since there's not a whole lot of nightlife here uh, you're your, the party circuit kind of goes from one expat's house to another expat's house and um, and just you know you just meet new people and um, it's actually the way you do a lot of business here is just being in a circuit of friends. That you need to have something serious that you are doing here and that you want to do here. You should not just come here for uh, like you need to have something to do. You need to have something serious to preoccupy yourself and your time with because otherwise you're going to go crazy. I would say all expats should feel welcome to come to Kurdistan. Please come and assist in developing the country and exploring this new culture. There's a bit of lack of uh, entertainment, but um, most of these expats who are coming here are coming here to work. So as long as you keep yourself busy and have a couple of days off per week, you can definitely find things to fill your time. There's a lot of opportunity here. There's a lot of fun to be had. You just have to link up with the right people and, and you know, do business with the right people and eventually everything, everything comes together for you. It gets very, very lonely sometimes and you have to be very careful about the people that you trust. You've got to pick your right friends and, you know, you try to have fun as much as you can and if people who are coming to Arbil, they need to be strong and you need to know what you're getting yourself into because sometimes you will crash and sometimes you will have a good time. But as long as you have a good time and just work, then you have nothing to worry about. Putting these challenges aside, I encourage uh, expats to come here and I definitely encourage them to come for a visit before they actually move because this might not be a place for everybody but it's definitely a good place to be in.